Right, hello, it's now the, uh, the 2nd of June. It's just coming up to 20 to, 20 to 6. Uh, I was out last weekend over Dotor Way. Well, and on Camp Don Dotor, but uh, this evening I've parked near um, Peter Tavy. Uh, there's a car park just just down there. There's a um, old disused quarry. Uh, I've never actually parked here before, uh, so I've never actually parked here and um, walked onto the moors this way. So I'm not too sure where I'm going. Uh, I'm just going to walk for an hour or so and see how far I get, basically. Uh, there's quite a few tools I can see around. Uh, right, let's carry on walking and see see how far I get. I wonder if I'm going to get over there. I might go over there, I don't know yet. <laughs> right, let's see how far, how far I go. Right, it's right, quite a way uh, on from where I um, lasted a bit of videoing pretty much just followed the path straight uh, from the car park straight up onto the moors where, where I last did a bit of videoing and um, to where I am now. I'll swing, swing around. That's back the way I came there, just over the brow of the uh, hill there. I'm just trying to decide where to um, where to uh, pitch up for the night. The time's now quarter past seven. Um, I want to be pitched up definitely before eight. So I'm just looking around really. I know there's a uh, stream just down down here, so I can get some water because I, I've only got only got a little bit here. Um, I'm not sure whether to camp up at the uh, tour up there. I'm not sure what it's called, if it's Coney's Connie's Down Tour, something like that, um, or the, over there there's a Lidford Tour. Uh, I think I'm going to walk up to the tour up here, uh, see if there's any good pitching places, anything nice and flat, uh, relatively sheltered. Uh, if there is, that, that's, that, that's where I'll stay. And then I'll go down to the river, get some water. If not, I'll go down and go up the other side to um, Lidford Tor uh, and see what it's like over there. Right, it is, a, it is a lovely day up here. Just a little slight breeze every now and again. But it is a lovely day up here. Right, let's crack on. Right, the time's now um, quarter to eight. I'm up on top of the, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it now, Conix Hill. I'll, I'll put it up on the video. I'm up on the name of that tour that I said I was going to. Uh, Lidford Tours, uh, over there. Um, I found a spot here, it's not too bad. It's a bit tussocky around here, but it isn't too bad. There's a few spaces, really. Uh, I was gonna pitch my tent and then go down and get the water, so I don't have to carry a, a backpack all the way down there, but. I, there's a lot of sheep around here, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't want to come back and find me, me, me tent's been chewed. Also, um, I'm just going to I'm going to go down to the river to get some water anyway. I'll come back up here, but uh, just in case uh, there's a there's a nice uh, camping spot down by the river somewhere. Um, I don't think there will be because it gets it gets a little bit steep going down there. Uh, but um, I'll take my tent with me, then I'll come back up here. I'll just spin you around so you can see the view. That's the view going down the valley. Got Prince Town over there in the distance. Back over there, that's the way I came. It's the hill, but little shallow hill behind me. And then there's a valley down there with a, a stream in it, which I'll go and get the water. Back over to uh, that's Lidford Tor over there. Lidford Tor, I believe, is the one. Oh, I can't see what. I believe it's is it that one there? It's not the one over here. It's that one, I believe. Uh, but this will be my um, unless I find a better camping spot. This will be my my spot for the night. Right, let's go down and get some water. Right, just in case anybody's keeping score. That was two minutes to get to the river. That was 14 minutes to get back up. I stopped quite a few times because uh, just down over there, it gets steep. I should have got um, water. Oh, back over there, there is another, uh, there is another um, stream down that way. 
but I didn't particularly want to get a get it from there because there's a, a dead cow. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not in the in the uh, stream, but it's just a little way off it. So uh, I don't know. I probably would have been perfectly safe, but uh, yeah, I, I don't want the, uh, water to be ever flavouring of dead cow. So up here now. Right, let's pitch the tent. Right, there we go, all pitched up. Oh. Now the sun's gone down here. Well, the sun's gone behind a cloud, actually. Uh, it's starting to get a bit, bit chilly now. Uh, I've pitched the tent again, same height as I always do. Um, the, the, well, basically the full height. Uh, I've set the, the, the poles to uh, 125 uh, centimetres. Um, that's mainly because uh, the weather forecast for tonight around here, uh, the wind is meant to be uh, well, same sort of a, uh, same as it is now, really. I mean, I think now, according to the uh, the Met Office, I think now it's it's about I don't know five, six, seven miles an hour, nothing much. And all the way through the night, it's going to be about the same. So I don't think we're going to get any uh, strong winds or anything. Famous last words, but uh, yeah, nice for you. Right, times now. What's it? It's quarter past eight. I think it's time to get some uh, coffee on the go and something to eat. Right. There you go. Got my uh, got my water on the boil now. In my last video, I, I uploaded. It's only a week ago. Um, I suggested that my my windshield should be a little bit higher uh, to be a, bit, a little bit more effective. Uh, and somebody commented. I think your name was Richard. Commented that it probably wasn't a good idea to enclose the gas canister with the burner. Um, because it might heat up the uh, the gas canister, uh, which I, I think is quite a quite a fair comment. Um, so what I've done today, I've just opened out because and this is just a, a cheap homemade um, windscreen I've got here. I've just opened it out a bit more, so a little bit more. Uh, this is a bit more of a gap between the uh, the stove and the uh, the gas canister. Just feeling it down here. You, you can't really feel the gas canister getting hot. You, I can feel the heat from the burner coming down, but it, it, it's not too hot at the moment. But I can certainly see what Richard was on about, that if the um, the windscreen was a lot closer to the, the gas canister, it might heat up the the, um, the gas canister a little bit with the burner there. So, uh, fair comment. Uh, well, duly noted. Thank you, Richard. Right, for... For evening's meal, I've got. I'm trying one of these. These fire pots, posh pork and beans. Um, I haven't tried this this make before, but I'll give it a go. It says here it's made in Dorset, so uh, so it's foreign. Uh, I quite like foreign food, so I'll give it a go. Uh, I've also chocolate bar, and I got my normal wherever I put it. Oh, there it is. Two in one coffee. That's what I'm having for uh, evening meal today. And the time is now quarter to nine. I to spin you around. There's my view. Just beyond the other side of the rock there, that's uh, Prince Town. TV mast up there, down into the valley. Yeah, this is certainly is nice up here. And the sun is setting back there. Still got my water boiling down here at the moment. Uh, it sounds very much like the gas. Uh, canister there is almost empty. Luckily I bought another one because uh, I knew it was getting low. Uh, not a problem though. Should be boiled in a minute. All right, that'll be it for a minute. Right, the time's just gone uh, half past nine. Still surprisingly light um, for half past nine. I don't know if the camera is showing that up or not. I've got some locals here. Hopefully they're not going to be a pro much of a problem tonight, but we'll see. I shouldn't have thought so. But uh, now the sun's dropped, it is getting a little bit chillier. Uh, that's what the sky looks like over there. So yeah, I think I'll, um, I'll jump in the tent now. <sighs> It certainly is getting a little chilly. Quick spin around. And time to get in the tent. See you in the morning. Right, 
good morning. It's now um, just coming up to five o'clock. As you can see, the uh, well, I hope you can see it's still it's just getting daylight now, but um, it's still a little bit dark. Got my neighbours here, cattle and uh, some sheep. And I was visited at half past three this morning by some horses, which scared me a bit. <laughs> so we're quite close to the tent. But uh, yeah, I, was, I, was, I certainly weren't going to be getting back, get, getting back to sleep. Uh, not after hearing those uh, horses. Oh, there's one. Uh, they are over there now. Oh, they're over there at the moment. I don't know if you can make them out, but yeah. So uh, I've got some porridge, coffee, and then I'm going to make my way, make my way back. And the way I'll be going is I've got to work. I'll be going back that way, down, straight across where those sheep are, straight down. You can see Prince Town over there with a few lights on. last night at all. I mean, nothing at all really, so uh, I'm glad I pitched a little bit high, although there is a bit of condensation inside, but that's only to be um, to be expected really. Uh, right, let's get some porridge and coffee on the go. By that time, it should be a bit lighter and I'm going to wake my way out of here. Right, the time is now quarter to six, all packed away, uh, got my sticks, the sun's coming up nicely now, that's where I'm going to head back, down over there, those are my neighbours, <laughs> right, let's start heading back, I see, I might do a bit more filming on the way back, I don't know yet, I'll see how I get on. now for about an hour so uh, I reckon I've only got about half hour three quarters of an hour to go to get back to the car so not too bad this is where I'm at the moment just going down the track here give you a little spin around it's back the way I came into the sun there back around to the way I'm going again yeah, I just thought I'd do a little update because in my last um, video that I uploaded last weekend, uh, I mentioned in it about the uh, knock vector two litre uh, water container. Uh, and I've since discovered that it's, it's got a few issues. Uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Jane, she mentioned um, that she had problems with the top uh, plastic slidey bit, uh, saying that it leaked, hers leaked from the corner. And I found that, uh, I found that, well this is all last weekend I found out that it's not, I found it pretty uh, hard to get the Sawyer squeeze screwed onto the thread um, nicely. That's mainly because the plastic on the bottom of the water container is quite thin, it's quite easy to distort it when you're trying to screw on the, uh, the filter. Um, but the Seaver last night, uh, I discovered a different way of screwing the filter on, a different way of holding the uh, the container, and it worked quite well. So uh, I might actually do another a little video, a little review video of, of the uh, knock vector uh, water container, uh, just to try and just to try and uh, explain what I'm on about. But I have looked on their uh, website, and they are um, updating the container. Um, you can either purchase the, uh, the plastic slidey bits separate, and I think they're also um, updating the whole container so that the, uh, the bit of plastic at the bottom where you screw on the, the filter, um, the plastic is a little bit thicker, so you don't distort the thread when you're trying to put it on. Uh, but I, like I say, I'll probably do a, 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 like a review video on that, just to explain a bit better what I'm on about. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's 
be another nice day today. When I'm at home, I'm not very much a morning person. It's now coming up to seven o'clock. I'll still be in bed, but I actually quite like getting up early when I'm out camping. I've only seen one other person uh, yesterday. I haven't seen anybody at all today. I'm pretty sure when I get closer to the car park, I'll see some dog walkers or somebody. But uh, yeah, it's looking quite good here today. Right, quick show you the way I'm going. That's it, and now uh, I'll see you back at the car. Right, that's it, uh, back at the car now. It's now just gone half past seven. Uh, I only actually saw one other person, um, and that was yesterday, and he looked like he was wild camping as well. I'm just wondering if that's his car there, because um, that was uh, parked up when I got here yesterday, so looks like somebody else has been wild camping anyway. Uh, I'll try and um, upload that other video uh, about the Vecto, not Vecto uh, water container next weekend, if, if I can manage to do it this week, um, just, to, just to make it clear what I was on about with the, um, the problems with it, just so you know. Uh, other than that, uh, I'll see you on the next wild camp. Bye.